Yeah, do you believe in in, uh, in Jesus as no, being no, as Messiah? No. You don't believe that? No. Oh, okay. He didn't fulfill the prophecies. Oh, like what prophecies? Uh, bring about world peace. Oh, okay. Bring about so, the whole okay. knowledge of one So, one your, reason, your reason Jesus is not the Messiah because he didn't bring peace to the world? No, yes? no, it's just so that there's a few things. That no, that's what, one of the reasons. Yeah, yeah, one of them, so, do you think Moses um, brought peace to the world? No, he wasn't the Messiah. But do you think, no, you said Jesus is not the Messiah because he didn't bring peace no, you to the world. you asked me one of the reasons and I said, no, he didn't bring about world peace, right? Okay, so, yeah. so that, so, so you, but you believe in Prophet Moses, yes? Yeah, yeah, of course, Moses. And you, you believe, did he bring peace to the world? No, no, because it's still war, So right? how, still how, how does right? that make sense then? You, you rejected Jesus for saying he didn't bring peace to the world, mm -hmm. but you believe in Moses and thought at the same time you believe he didn't bring peace to the world. Is I'm that no confused. double standard? No, I'm confused. Who said Moses would bring peace to the world? No, your reasoning for rejecting Jesus is that because he didn't bring peace to the world. No, that's, there's many reasons why. But that's one of the reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he, so it, that reason also Moses have, but you still believe Moses is a prophet. No, no, wait. I think you're confusing it here. Yeah. You, you, what do you believe? That Jesus is what? A prophet I believe or Jesus Messiah? is the Messiah and he's the prophet. Prophet and a Messiah? Yes. Okay, so what is the Messiah supposed to do? Messiah? Yeah. Do you think he's going to bring no, peace? No, 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 please ask, ask my question. What is the Messiah supposed to do? Messiah is going to come and lead the people. And what else? And also, yeah. he's going to destroy the devil. Okay, and what else? Antichrist. I'm, I'm just curious. I'm the just Antichrist. Curious. Okay, and yeah. what else? And he's going to ignore the Christians. So who's the Antichrist? Ignore the, okay. The okay. Christians. All right. According to us, Islam, Christians are anti-Christ. Oh really? Yes. Oh really? I yes. didn't know that. Yes. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I can tell you many reasons. Show us the Bible. Yeah, I can tell you many reasons. Yeah. Yeah, you never knew about this. No, I saw one or two, but now I'm like, whoa, I'm not sure <laughs> what the camera is. Yeah. But you yeah. never knew about this. No, no, no. Hey, Christians. I, I'm not knowledgeable enough. Yeah, no, I'm I'm being loyal to you. Guys. No, I'm yeah. being loyal to you. I don't have enough knowledge to Okay, let me with the religious system. Yeah, okay. You know we Muslims, we Muslims believe Jew, Jews and Christians rejected Jesus okay. and Prophet Muhammad. Okay. We believe the only religion believe all prophets of the Bible, including Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, even in Islam, okay. is only Islam, Muslims. We Muslims believe all of them, That's good. Prophet Moses, Jesus, Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, all of them we believe they are the chosen ones. But what I'm saying is Christians are the Antichrist. I can give you many reasons. The first reason, if I give you the first reason, Christians believe Jesus is the way and the truth. He knows that. We don't deny about that. I don't know anything. I'm just No, I'm just saying Christians always claim tells tells us tell us Jesus is the way and the truth. Yes? Okay. Also, same, Jews believe Moses is the way to God. Yes? Also, prophets, other prophets. All of them are the way to God. But Christians believe only Jesus is the way to God, which is wrong. If that's the case, then it's pointless, God of the Bible, to send all other prophets to mankind. What is the reason God sending other prophets other than Jesus? It's to guide them. It's to guide them. It's to guide their people and their followers to God. Not just Jesus is the way and the truth. So every prophet, he was the way and the truth to God only his time. So now if we say Jesus is the way and the truth, as Christians claim, and they believe, yeah, I believe Jesus is my, is my God, yes. No, you believe it's the way and the truth? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. So what I'm saying is, it doesn't make sense. If you believe Jesus is the way and the truth, we all can speak, yes? But we need what? Action. That's why English, English people say, action speaks louder than a word. Okay. So Christians believe Jesus is the way and the truth. At the same time, guess what they believe? Jesus is a Jew man. He practiced Judaism. That's what they believe. If Jesus practiced Judaism and they believe he's the way and the truth, 
why are they not practicing Christian Judaism, but why Christianity? You see, a Mishiach isn't supposed to add to the law. Yeah, you get to know. He's supposed to be the law, right? No. He doesn't add to the law, he, 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 he enforces it. He, uh, not, not, wrong words, wrong words. This is why I don't want to discuss this with scholars, because you're yeah. going to walk all over me with your knowledge. Yeah. Because I'm just, I mean, you know, he's a scholar. I'm just guy. here listening. I'm just no, I'm not. Guy. I'm not. I'm, I'm not a scholar. I'm same like you. I'm same like you. Objectively. We're just learning from one another. Okay. That's um, all I believe. Yeah. What was the question again? <laughs> no, I'm saying, like now, you believe Moses practiced Judaism, yes? I, uh, I think he brought about the laws. Of yes. Judaism. No, yeah, yeah, Judaism, yes. Yeah. So therefore, Moses is your role model. That's why you he practice Judaism, yes? Yeah, 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 Thank, you. Thank you. So yeah. who is the role model of Christian? Jesus. Yeah. Okay, did Jesus practice Christianity? See, that's why I'm telling you Christians are anti-Christ. So, so Christians yeah. are anti-Christ? Anti-Christ. Because they didn't practice... What Jesus practiced and what Jesus worshipped. Even now, Jesus, until now... Okay, wait, 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 wait. So he took away from the law? I don't know. No, I'm talking about the religion. Yeah, yeah, but the religion doesn't have the same laws. No, let, no, the law can be different, yeah. but the religion has to be the same. Okay, you understand? From the same place. Yes, because yeah. if Jesus practiced Judaism yeah. and Moses practiced Judaism mm. and Christians believe all prophets of the Bible then practice Judaism, Christians should practice also what? Same as yeah, yeah, yeah. So, prophets, so including Jesus. Should, so should everybody practice Judaism? According to your belief, yes. But according to my belief, we believe all prophets practice Judaism and Islam. Oh. That's why we practice Islam. We make sense. And you make sense. Jews. Their belief, according to their belief, they make sense because they believe prophets practice Judaism. That's why they practice in Judaism. They practice Judaism. But yeah, Christians... But we, we also believe that there's going to be covenants outside of our religion. So he might make a covenant with Christians or something. No, we don't covenant. Know no, let me yeah, explain like to you. He, he might, covenant. Might be laws for no, other covenant yeah. does not mean a new religion. Because law. do you know why? New law no, new covenant. law does not mean new, a new, new religion. Do you know why? Yeah, Look, okay, religion, do you know why? Like in Jeremiah, let's say example law. now, in Jeremiah, within Torah, Tanakh, there's abrogations. The law kept changing. Same Jeremiah's time, the law was different compared to Moses' law. But the religion still was what? Same, Judaism. So Moses, same, according to your belief, Moses', Moses law was different than David's law and Jeremiah's law, uh, Isaiah's law, but still, they all practice what? Judaism. Did you see now? That's why I'm telling, I'm telling you new covenant or new law does not mean a new religion. Christ, Jew, Jew, Jews make sense according to their belief. They believe all prophets practice Judaism. That's why you practice Judaism. We Muslims make sense according to our beliefs because we believe all prophets practice Islam and we practice Islam. But Christians here believe Jesus is the way and the truth and Jesus, they believe he practiced Judaism, not Christianity. So Christians should follow the way of Jesus, which is practicing Judaism. Until now, if you ask the God of Jesus, is only one person, God the Father. But the Christian God is three persons, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So you tell me now, how can Christians be the followers of Jesus? You can't have three. Thank you. You can only have one. So they are anti-Christ. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yes. That's so uh, shame. I think you're putting him on the spot here. Man. Yes. That's not, not me. No, he's like, not having a conversation. He's having a conversation. No, he's talking about Christianity. Yeah. I'm talking about Christianity. So now you and tell I'm, me. And I'm, and, just, and I'm just listening. Yeah. If, it's, just, if the God of Jesus is only God the Father, I'm, I'm why the God of Christians is three persons in one? God the Father, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The so they are the Antichrist. So what's the answer then? The answer, Christians are Antichrist. Okay. We so Muslims believe All right. God is one. Look, Moses worshipped God the right, Father. So you've given us the answer now. What you want. David, God, he worshipped only God the Father. Moses and Isaac, Jacob, Abraham, all of them, they worshipped God one only, being one, yeah, only one. not three. Jesus. That's, that's what we were trying to, so, I was trying to understand. So now, then you, you, along. you find out, you find out the spot. You find out now the spot. Muslims, we believe, God is one, not three persons. Yeah. David, same. God is not three in one, just one. Isaac, Isaiah, Jeremiah, David, Moses, all of them, God is one, not three in three persons in one. Christians, God three persons in one.
Can you see the difference now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now I'm correct. I'm correct. Christians are the Antichrist. Yes, Christians are the Antichrist. Okay. So now you agree with me, yes? I don't know. Okay. No, if that's agree. what you want, if that's agree. what you want, yeah, I agree. He wasn't yeah. debating. No, okay, what? Well, okay. Do you have... No, 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 I'm just saying... A, he's no. asking me a question, I was replying, but you two have a conversation. Do you understand now? Uh, now I'm yes? I don't want to be on YouTube, yeah. No, no, now you understand now, yes? <laughs> so I made my point. I just came here to... So yeah, I, no, I made my point yeah, clear, yeah. yes? Yeah, you have. You have phone calls and TV. And yeah, you have. So now, Jesus, do you know what Jesus said in the Bible? He said, we worship what we know he included himself and his disciples that they all worship god the father and he said the true worshipers will worship god the father alone he never said the true worshipers will worship god the father the son and the holy spirit so where did they, that yeah, come from you, did so jesus worship the holy spirit did jesus worship the holy spirit no the answer is no we know that did Jesus worship did Jesus the man, the divine nature of Jesus? No. If the case is to worship God alone, and Christians believe we worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But Jesus didn't worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They worship three of them. So who is right and the way? Jesus or Christians? If Jesus is the way and the truth, then they should worship God the Father alone. You're right, so now what? So now, if I'm right, then why would you believe? What is your reason you no, to believe in Christianity? You're right, that's it. The conversation is over. Like, I don't have anything to say to so, you. But you said Jesus is God. Tell me any valid reason that Jesus Look, is God. we've said you're right. So what more do you want? Like, you're right. Oh. The conversation is over. Like, you win. That's it. Do you have anything to say to him? Or, no, no. Or so now like Christians you? are anti-Christ. Yeah. Are Antichrist. But I don't have a Christ. <laughs> no, I'm saying they are Antichrist. No, they say Muslims are Antichrist. You tell me Jesus worship. No, Muslims believe this. No, Christians believe Muslims are the Antichrist. Do you know why? Because we rejected Jesus. How can we reject Jesus when we worship God alone? Not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. Same as Jesus. If Jesus worshiped God the Father alone, and we Muslims worship God alone, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. How can we be the Antichrist then? If that's the case, then just because we're not worshiping Jesus, the Son, then Jesus also himself is the Antichrist himself. He does not believe the divine nature of Jesus. Otherwise, Jesus the man could worship Jesus, the divine nature. So, so now, okay. Okay, so now... So now, okay, we're done with you. So now, I would like to discuss with you. <laughs> I was just talking to this guy peacefully, and now I've got like a string of cameras and like. Speakers <laughs> corner, man. I Brother, just to like come down and so now let me. Do you, do you know Isaiah? The book of Isaiah. Bro, you are a scholar. Clearly, you I'm are not a scholar. Honest. I'm not a scholar. You are very I always try. Man. No, I, I always man. try my best. I don't, I'm not a scholar. I don't want to. I learn from everyone I'm here. I'm not the best scholar in the world, so I don't but, want to uh, have a discussion listen. in case I make mistakes and then I anger a lot of people. I'm not. I'm not perfect as well. I can make mistakes as well. I think you've don't forget, I'm a human. That can correct you if you're wrong. No, I'm human as well. No, I'm human as well. So you tell me, what do you believe about Prophet Muhammad? I don't believe anything about it. You don't believe him. But do you believe what Tanakh says? About what? About Prophet Muhammad. If I quote from Tanakh, mm. do you believe what pro uh, they say in Tanakh? About it. Eh? Well, I don't remember the word Muhammad coming up anytime. Huh? Okay. Do you believe. Is there a name Muhammad in the book? No, I'll give you one verse. You tell me what's your understanding by that verse. In the book of Isaiah, mm. chapter 29, verse 12, it says. The book will be given to the illiterate person and he will be asked to read and he will be say, I do not know how to read. What prophet do you think is that? I don't know. You need to ask a scholar about this stuff, man. That sounds That's like, very... a, like a verse in Quran. No, that verse... That's very intricate. You know, it sounds like you... I should be getting out of book and reading before. Is, is it all right to move just, for me to just move away? Yeah, yeah it's fine, yeah, brother. No yeah. problem. Thanks, win, so, bro. thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks so much. I really appreciate for your time. Yeah, okay. Like, I, I, I think I'm kind of done here as well, as, uh, as well, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to answer your questions okay. fully without okay. a scholarly okay. understanding. Do, do you know the reason Jews rejected uh, Prophet Muhammad? I can tell you from the Bible even. Do you know why? Tell me. In the Bible, do you know what it says in Genesis? What's 
chapter. In Genesis chapter 17 verse 20 it says, God heard about Ishmael and he said, I will bless Ishmael, Ishmael. And he will be a ruler of the 12 fathers and they will produce its fruitful. It says that in the Tanakh. Yes, in Torah. So God promised in the Bible that he will bless Ishmael and his offspring. Did he say, Ishmael, I'm going to bless yes, you with yes. 12 things? Yes, the, he will be that. the father of the 12 rulers. I don't want to confirm or deny because I'd have to read it, but I'd have to read up and, and discuss it with you. I haven't, I, I, yeah, no, I haven't I'm just telling you. So that verse so tells us, no, that saying. verse, no, I'm saying, you can search up now, I can give you the verse even. You can search up. We're not taking that long, uh, about 10 minutes, and then uh, I'm going as well. Yes, I'm cold. You're cold, yeah? Mm -hmm. And Genesis, yeah? Chapter 17, verse 20. How are you not doing today? Yeah? yeah. It's a lot of cameras, man. Yeah. Where are you guys coming from? What part of London? So I'm reading best shit. Yeah, Genesis 17, 20, please. And as for Ishmael, I've heard you. Behold, I've yeah. him, and you will make him for him. I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Twelve and princes shall he beget. Yes. And you know what the twelve and, and the ruler, he will be the father of uh, the twelve rulers? Do you know Quraysh? Prophet's tribe? Quraysh? So he's going to be the father of 12 nations? Yes, tribes. 12 tribes, okay. Yes, this is this is the tribe of the Prophet Muhammad I think you'd have to discuss that with a scholar because I think there's more to it. I'd have to read the beginning no, and the end. The, the, we, all know, we, all know even the we all know even the second son of Ishmael is Kadar. Okay. And also Prophet told us in Sayul Muslim, in the Hadith, mm. Hadith number 2276. Prophet told us, Allah has chosen Kinana from the offspring of Ishmael. Wait, so I need to ask you something. So Muhammad says there is one God and there's no son of God, right? We don't believe Prophet Muhammad is the son of God. Yeah, yeah, that's we right. We believe that's he's good. only the prophet. Man. A and, prophet. And Jesus, you believe he's a We believe son Jesus is the same. Or? No, we believe Jesus is the Just same a man. prophet. Man. A man, a prophet, chosen one. Okay, Both so of them you, are chosen you've ones. Got one. And you're saying that Muhammad was mentioned in the Torah and Tanakh. Yes. So Prophet Muhammad was the illiterate. The illiterate one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's why in Isaiah it says in chapter 29 verse and, 12. And you, it's definitely him that they Yes, it's him. Out. Yes, it says, do you know when Prophet Angel Gabriel came to him? The angel, angel Gabriel asked Prophet Muhammad to read, to repeat what he said. And angel, uh, Prophet Muhammad, do you know what he replied? I do not know how to read. Okay, it's interesting. I'd have to read more because I, I think there might be an You just search up Prophet Muhammad. No, Prophet Muhammad is in the Bible. Jew, Jews I believe Prophet Muhammad was, is a prophet, but they don't believe he was sent to all mankind. Do you get the point? But you, that's a bold statement saying because I don't believe it. No, they believe Prophet Muhammad is a prophet. But which Jews believe this? Majority of them, they believe Prophet Muhammad is a prophet, but they don't believe he was sent. So if I to go all to mankind. Okay, okay. No, it's interesting. Thank yeah. You. Thank you for educating me. So if I go out now. Yeah, I, I got one, one he, a, a Jew man here. Thing. Yeah, I got a Jew man here. Exactly, he was saying. Okay. He's a prophet, I believe he's a prophet, but not to us. Yes, well, we have that law that there will be prophets to other people. Not yes. To us. But Prophet Muhammad in the Bible he says to all mankind. Because even God said in the Bible, in Tanakh, he said God will speak to his people in a foreign language. Okay. Well, who people is that? Who is the Tanakh? Who is okay. Tanakh wait, wait. for? So, Prophet Muhammad was the last, the last prophet. Yes. But we believe Malachi was the last prophet. And no other no, will come you believe Malachi. No, you believe Malachi is, this, is a prophet who was sent to you. No, but it also states you'd be the last prophet and no other prophets for us. No, no, no for you, but it doesn't say for others. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. they believe. Okay, for others. So then you understand. I understand what you're saying. So I don't know, maybe... But now I can I give you a verse in the Bible. It says in, in the Isaiah, same book, chapter 28, verse 10 to 11, 12. 
You know what it says? God will speak to his people with a foreign language. Those people are the people of Israelites. So that means Prophet Muhammad was also sent to you. Otherwise, God is Tanakh. God is speaking to Israelites by saying God will speak to his people in a foreign language, which is Arabic language. So that, pro that means Prophet Muhammad was also sent to you. Uh, honestly, yes. In, in Even way, Jesus. It, it sounds like you're reaching a little bit. Um, yeah. Because and also I don't have enough knowledge to actually. I need to read your books and understand yeah. to actually have a good discussion. No, it says even in the Sahih Bukhari, in the Hadith, in the chapter of Revelation, the beginning of Revelation, Hadith three, is same as Isaiah chapter twenty nine, verse twelve. It's very that verse is the same as same same. Yeah. So now I, even I, I, Jesus, I, 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 I even Jesus that. in the Bible, do you know what he said in the New Testament? In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 43, do you know what Jesus said? He said to the Jew, Jewish people, he said there will be a time the kingdom will be taken away and shall be given to a nation, another nation, which is going to produce its fruitful. So apply this verse to Genesis chapter 17, verse 20. It says the same thing. They will produce what? The I 12 rulers of the... Need a scholar for this no, it, it says... It sounds it's reaching a little bit, and I can't... From a person who doesn't have the knowledge... You search up. Yeah, I, I no, think search up, I Isaiah, search up. No, yeah. search up Isaiah, the one I gave you, chapter yeah. 29, verse 12, chapter 28, verse 10 to 12. Also, Genesis chapter 17, verse 20. That one applies to Genesis. That one verse is the same as... The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 43. And in Genesis, God said what? Ishmael, for Ishmael, he will bless him, and he will be the ruler and the father of the 12 rulers. And they will produce fruitful. Yes? And then the Gospel of Matthew, same, it says, they, the kingdom will be taken away from Jews, Jewish people, and will be, it will be given to another nation who is going to produce its pr fruitful. See, fruitful, fruitful. Same context. Yeah, I, I don't know, bro. It, it sounds like you've got a different covenant that was made. Yeah, last. anyways, They're thanks. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, really appreciate yeah, yeah, it for yeah, your yeah, time. No, I'm trying. I'm trying yeah. to understand it. I don't yeah. have enough knowledge. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. And here, and I was discussing with them I was proving that Christians are the Antichrist, but they believe Muslims are the Antichrist. And I explained, we believe Jesus was a Muslim, all prophets were Muslims, we Muslims practice Islam. Christians believe Jesus is the way and the truth, but they do not practice what Jesus practiced. They do not worship what Jesus worshipped. Jesus worshipped only God the Father. He did not worship the Son, the divine nature of the Son himself, nor the Holy Spirit. Jews at least, according to their belief, they make sense. They believe all prophets practice Judaism. Therefore, we practice Judaism. Muslims same. we believe all prophets practice Islam. That's why we practice Islam. But Christians believe Jesus is the way and the truth. But at the same time, they do not practice what Jesus practiced, what Jesus worshipped. And as I said, Jesus was not a Jew, was not a Christian. They believe Jesus was a Jew man. He practiced Judaism. And until now, Jesus, they believe he's a Jew man. He worships God the Father. He did not practice Judaism and Christianity. They believe Christians believe God revealed his full nature in Jesus' time. And when Jesus was on this earth, if Jesus' time, God revealed his full nature on Jesus' time, that means Jesus... The man should worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Since Christians believe Jesus has two natures, divine nature and man nature. So the man nature should worship Jesus, the divine nature. At the same time, Jesus also, if Jesus the man believes, according to Christians, God revealed his full nature on Jesus' time only, not prophets before the prophets before the prophets who came after him, they believe they never knew that the prophets of the Bible before Jesus never knew the full nature of God, the Father. 
but they said God revealed his full nature, Jesus' time. Yet again, if, Jesus, if that could be the case then, Jesus the man could worship God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and also he could practice Christianity. But he did not practice Christianity. Therefore, even Jesus' time, God did not reveal his full nature, him being as three persons in one or be him be Jesus being God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit all of them just being and Jesus and I'm talking about Unitarian and Trinitarians believe Jesus is God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit three persons in one Jesus until now he does not believe God to be in three persons three persons in one so that's all I'm going to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh